My chess friends, I have played with the new Alpha Zero in an incredible chess matches but I have yet to win a game against him, but today I have the white piece and I am sure that I can defeat him by sacrificing my rook or queen something. Don't be pushed around by the fears in your mind, be led by the dreams in your heart, I started the game with d4 we have knight f6, c4 g6 knight c3 and bishop g7, alpha played his king's indian defense at the level of 4500 elo, d5 is the top engine move followed by c6 and e6 or he can choose the pirate defense, so e4 d6, black will strike in the center with c5 or e5 in future by playing knight d7, so bishop e2, as usual white wants to push his kingside pawns. But after castle bishop g5 h6 you shouldn't capture the knight, black will enjoy his bishop pair and he can dominate your center, so bishop e3 knight d7 f3, I want to push my gh pawns aggressively, after a couple of moves later we have c4, 69 iq humans may think of playing d5 but it will create a weakness on e5 square, as black can play king h7 e6 and b5 to break your structure combination, for that reason we have pawn exchanges on c5, to win up a pawn on h6, b5 h4, you may capture the pawn. Thinking that h5 can't damage your position because black can take the pawn on h5, no 600 elo rated ant, white can capture your bishop and after king takes bishop, g4 will kill your knight, the knight can't move because of queen h6 h7 checkmate. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard, so back to the position, we have knight h5 first, b4 to kick out the knight but alpha played his 4.5k elo move bishop e5, the knight can't be captured because black can play b4, the c3 knight will be under pressure and the rook will be targeted at the same time, for that reason I add pressure to the knight with g4, the knight brothers are under attack so alpha played knight to a4, pressuring to the knight with two pieces. 1500 elo rated to 2300 elo rated players may think of playing rook c1, then knight g3 will come, Rook h3 takes takes then black will sacrifice the bishop on g4, white captured the bishop knight takes pawn to fork the pieces, queen here and after some moves later, the position will be a completely drawable situation, but I have to win the game, back to our game, I play daring move knight takes knight, sacrificing the rook because the knight is also under attack. Knight g3 rook to h3 and we have big exchanges, great stuff, bishop takes rook was available but I played knight h3. I want to keep pressure in the black king side with my knight pawn, and the rook, the queen can enter to the black territory after opening the king position, alpha saved the rook first, h5 and you may think of capturing the pawn, but after g takes h5, king has to run in h8, and it will be a checkmate on h6 by the queen. Never give up on a dream just because of the time it will take to accomplish it the time will pass anyway, so back to the position we have rook b8, here best move. For white is to take the pawn, it will weaken black's king position but I missed that move and played king f1, an excellent move, e6 by alpha, knight f2 queen f6 to play bishop c3, we have pawn exchanges on g6 and rook to h7, getting the rook file and targeting to the pawn, d5 a3, in this position your brain can only think of doing pawn exchanges, if pawn exchanges happen then knight e4 will come to target the queen, queen can't run there because the bishop can chase her, so queen f7 queen c1. Bishop goes to e5 to protect that square, so queen g5 to target it, if you move back you're the bishop, just to protect that square, then knight f6 check will make a 1000 voltage thunderbolt to your position which will be a dead checkmate, so chess friends, if you want to become smart like stockfish and alpha zero then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel where you will get daily dose of stockfish videos, back to the position, we have a5, e5 to sacrifice the pawn. The queen can't take it because of bishop f4, the rook will be under attack so alpha king played bishop takes pawn, b5 and you still can't capture the pawn because the knight e4 move will be deadly, it's more likely to our previous variation where I analyzed the board, alpha zero knows everything because he is a stockfish subscriber so he played bishop to d7, king g2 rook b7 and after couple of moves later we have bishop to e3. I want to play queen c2 to target the pawn and knight d3 to eliminate the dark square bishop, takes f4 bishop to a1 and I played bishop f3, any normal human will think of saving the rook but b6 move will destroy you, you will simply lose your bishop on d7, and I will get 6th rank pawn for bonus, back to the position we have bishop c8, 
b6 rook d7 queen c2, threatening to play rook h6 to target the pawn, and the c4 pawn is also under attack, b7 may come. So alpha played bishop to d4. Bishop takes d6 rook takes d6, I thought I can win the game, but alpha zero is become an insane monster, but being a chess god, I'll show him my real self one day, just with idiot alpha zero. Sometimes when you're in a dark place you think you've been buried but you've actually been planted, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.